I am Group Captain Elson of the destroyer Capella. The Tidan Empire has become decadent and corrupt over the centuries. The use of the forbidden atmosphere deprivation device on your planet finally triggered the rebellion. Help me get access to the rebellion's communication network. I will show you a way through the defenses surrounding your homeworld. Take me to the ship graveyard at Keros. Hidden in a derelict, there is a relay I can use with your help. The rebellion waits for my sign to move into its next phase. Hyperspace transition complete. We have arrived at Karos. The communication relay is here. A fighter or corvette must dock with it to establish the link. That in the background is definitely part of some mega structure. Honestly, for Homeworld 2, they were going to have mega structures that were just part of the environment, but I guess the engine had a slight problem with collisions. Uh, which kind of happens when you've got a, you know, a 3D game that largely takes place in vacuum. Now, Research division reports it is now equipped for heavy guns technology. We advise commencing research immediately. Now, it's important to note that this ship graveyard is not just... So, this was actually the, uh, the prototype for the Kushan carrier. And there's a bunch of other ship models in here that were based on unused versions of... of the ships that made it into the final game. So, this is actually the cutting room floor that we're in right now. So, here's the interesting part with this mission. Resource all, we, awaiting orders. all we need to do is to get a fighter to dock with the derelict vessel, the communications relay, and we can complete the mission. The problem is that the graveyard is infested with automated turrets and also proximity sensors, which means that trying to slip a cloaked fighter group in there is not going to go well either. Now, a capital ship, especially something like a heavy cruiser, could tear its way through the defenses inside the graveyard. The problem, however, is the junkyard dog. The junkyard dog is a... Functionally, it's a salvage corvette on steroids. And what it will do is if any uh, frigate class or higher crosses into the junkyard, it will latch onto it drag it to a, quote, standing hyperspace gate, end quote. Still not sure how that's supposed to work. They're basically hyperspace gates with nothing to create them. They're just sort of... They exist. Not... I'm glad that they kind of got rid of that with Homeworld 2. They have um, actual things that create hyperspace nodes like that. Technically, they did that same thing in Cataclysm. It's just in this game that they have gates that exist with nothing to generate them. I mean, maybe the source of the gate is on the other side. Um, now, there was an exploit, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. There's a lot of uncertainties, a lot of variables here that are of concern. You used to be able to immobilize the junkyard dog using a gravity well generator, because even though it's the size of a frigate, maybe a little bit larger, it's technically coded as a corvette. It even has engine contrails. And it's particularly weird because it is essentially a salvage corvette. And salvage corvettes are not affected by the gravity well generator, but you could immobilize a junkyard dog with a gravity well generator. Copy. So the issue here is I haven't the slightest clue... I haven't the slightest clue Strike group acknowledged. how the rebalance Ready. with applying Homeworld 2's mechanics to this game is going to have affected Strike group acknowledged. Um, anything. So... I would love to send a probe out, but in a, I wasn't even able to completely rebuild the fleet that I had. We are in desperate need of resources. And I have concerns about sending the collectors to do anything because... Aros Automata... Uh, yeah, but they're not, though. They're just... They're just space junk. Oh! 
I can't look at it, but down there is the old Higar and Heavy Cruiser. Yeah, it's got the ion cannon Research arrays and the guns. Research division reports it is now equipped for cloak generator technology. We advise commencing research immediately. Again, I'd love to. I have no RUs. Now, the first basic strategy is to remember that you're in three-dimensional space. And it's important to note that this ship graveyard is laid out as kind of a flat slab. So you can substantially reduce the difficulty in penetrating it by approaching it from the top or bottom. So, my first attempt... Roger. And we, we can't build anything, so if this goes south, it, it's going to be kind of a, a permanent and fixed problem. Defensive perimeter set. Forming strike group. Strike group coordinates locked in. No. No, not that kind of a... Uh. Acknowledged. Wait. New formation acknowledged. Strike group coordinates locked in. Standing by. New formation acknowledged. Strike group moving into position. Ready. New formation acknowledged. Strike group coordinates locked in. Reporting. I don't know. If an, if an attempt to destroy the locked in. proximity sensors fails, because ideally you want to destroy the proximity sensors with a quick fighter attack and then slip your cloak fighters into the docking port. Just Ender's game this whole shit out of existence. But if that doesn't work, Copy. we'll try bum-rushing it. I don't anticipate that that will go well. Stay sharp. Roger. But we'll see what happens. Forming strike group. Confirmed. Strike yeah, group this is definitely one of the more... One of the more tactical... Defensive perimeter set. One of the more tactical missions. Stay sharp. You can't just Standing brute force by. it. Stay sharp. Okay. Reporting. Strike group confirmed. Acknowledged. First, we'll dispatch the scouts. Strike group coordinates locked in. Those red dots have me thinking that there might already be auto turrets in range, or it might just be ship parts. A bit like finding a, a grain of salt on a beach. There's just ship junk everywhere. You can't tell what's actually going to be a threat or not. Strike group moving into position. Copy. Guard order confirmed. Reporting. Escort pattern locked in. Acknowledged. Escorting friendlies. Acknowledged. Moving into formation. Standing by. Escorting friendlies. Confirmed. Escort pattern locked in. Ready. Copy. Guard order confirmed. Standing by. Escort pattern locked in. Roger. Strike group coordinates locked in. God, I want to use the resource collectors, but I don't know... I'm not even sure if there's any resources really to collect. It's kind of dead out here. Our losses have, have definitely resource-starved us. Copy. A little more vertical. moving into position. Confirmed. Moving into formation. Okay, so we should be high enough to avoid aggroing the turrets, I'm hoping. Standing by. I feel like the ships weren't quite this orderly before. I could just be crazy. Now, I would like to point out the scouts actually do have enhanced sensors, like they do um, 
Well, they have a broader sensor bubble. You can see that they can detect much farther out, and I think they can counter Nebula, which was all a Homeworld 2 thing. So they are actually scouts now, which is appropriate. And I'm not going to talk about the ship designs, because I, I asked a question a ways back, and I got a big, obvious no. So we're ju it's just going to be pretty skybox and stuff blowing up in space. Reporting. I want to be really easy on the descent, because I need to be able to tell when we're actually coming on to threat. Strike group moving into position. Strike group moving into position. A little lower. Strike group moving into position. We're in the graveyard now. Sign of the derelict, but... Yeah, we're only about halfway down to it. We still have... Kilometers to descend. Setting drives to idle. Right, there's the proximity sensors. There is... Oh! Oh, wow. I'm, I am actually pleased with that. The hyperspace gateways are... Act they actually have a structure associated with them. They're not just floating in the middle of nowhere. That's a nice... That's actually a nice touch. Thing is, there have to be turrets nearby. There has to be. I mean, is this gonna spawn, like, fighter craft? Did they completely change Karas Graveyard? There should be turrets around here. I'm... Uh, I am concerned about the, uh, the lack of turrets. Because there didn't used to be a gate right here. This is this is going to spit something out at me, isn't it? Okay. I think... I'm detecting... Oh. Is that the dog? Yeah, it's the junkyard dog. Oh, he's still producing contrails. Yes, this is a, a drone. We assume. And any frigate class that comes in here, he just grabs it. I I suspect the sort of lore implication behind that is that people just sort of dump their ships here, and it's the responsibility, perhaps, of the junkyard dog to move them in line, because the ships he makes off with are actually added to the rows with all the rest of the junk. They don't just disappear. Uh, then again, when you think of... An actual junkyard dog, the function of it, of course, is to keep people from sneaking into the junkyard and stealing stuff that could be sold. So, there's a lot of potential implications there. Confirmed. So, my idea... Strike group coordinates locked in. We've got four battle groups here. Okay, where's... Ready. Roger. Strike group We're going to assign position. each to one of those proximity sensors. We're going to have to double up on some of them, on one group of them, and then we're going to try to sneak the cloaked fighters through. Strike group coordinates locked in. Because I want to strike in a while the iron is hot type of situation. Because one of the problems we could run into is that it's Strike possible that that hyperspace gate might spawn in new sensors. Now, this would be a great opportunity to, like, pause and give them all their individual attack orders. But we we can't do that. Confirmed. Because my, my keyboard doesn't have... It's not going to work. Strike group coordinates locked in. I want to make sure Reporting. that... Strike group moving into position. All right. Here's our... 
more groups. Well, confirmed. I want to make sure I'm not attached to them visually. Acknowledged. Strike group to battle positions. Reporting. Strike group to battle positions. Confirmed. Strike group to battle positions. Acknowledged. Strike group prepare for assault. Roger. The graveyard is defended by auto guns. They will complicate our attempt to reach the communications array. Strike group reports hostile contact. Strike group receiving fire. Strike group under enemy attack. Ready. Strike group reports hostile contact. Strike group moving into position. Group two reports enemy contact. Group one reports enemy contact. Group one under attack. So, fantastic. We can't actually detect contact. the guns. Group two under attack. Strike group receiving fire. Group one under attack. Supporting friendly units. Oh, no, 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 no. Strike group coordinates locked in. Eddie's. Strike group moving into position. Not afford losses. A big mission coming up. Acknowledged. If we took out the proximity sensors, which means, hopefully, this will work. Standing by. Copy. Docking underway. Initiating cloak. Ready. Reporting. Docking underway. Going under. Standing by. I'm in. Communication link established. Patching into command node now. The Tidan Resistance has been informed of your actions and are preparing the fleets. You have our thanks. The hyperspace coordinates you require have been transferred to your mothership. Farewell. Hyperspace enabled. So, yeah, that's the Karos graveyard. I'm I'm going to hang around a uh a little bit longer to copy to see if I can scrounge together some kind of resources because I need them. Coordinates locked in. But yeah, that's it.